Okay, so I went to the flea market today. Um, I got this Thomas Cathedral radio there. It's a little rough around the edges. Um, the guy had two of them. One was a darker one. It was in worse shape, and this one isn't perfect, but certainly better. He said twenty dollars a piece, and I, I talked him down to. I tried to talk him down to ten, but he wasn't having it. And so I said 15, and he said sure. And honestly, I think this is about like five dollars. And crazy thing is that these are considered vintage now. This thing, it's the Norman Rockwell version. Like that means anything. Um, January 1988, made in China. I do have a soft spot for these, and I wish that they made them exactly like this one with the side-mounted cassette mechanism and the AM FM tuner and the same style cabinet. Controls dirty. Got your spick station. Control doesn't work. If you would tell me I'm the only one that you know, I could be a dream, sweetheart. Let's try the cassette deck. Oh. see what other garbage we got the cat's gonna come here and see what other goodies we got anyway I went to the same thrift store I got that RCA system from um, surprisingly the Sylvania console stereo that they had there for $200 last time I went in there they, it was it wasn't there so either they threw it out or um, some somebody with more 
more money than cents went and bought it. But I got two kind of stupid things. This one. FM scanner radio. It's like a little flashlight. Cheap Chinese garbage. Um, 2004. Um, this little top piece is kind of broken. But. And I think. Yeah, it's branded under Embark. Now, I think my grandmother. Yeah, my grandmother. She has Embark. Or. I don't think it's Embark anymore. I think it's CenturyLink. But. Yeah, when she first got her internet, it was Embark. What a weird name. Um, anyway, let's see. I only paid $2 for it. And then I got this Sony clock radio. Um, I think this is their current model. You can probably see me in, with the camera there. But, um, maybe we'll try that. Um, you can see this broke where this flashlight is. I guess that's the speaker. doesn't have batteries in it that might help it if it will work okay so I went and I got some batteries and I had to change the ones in the camera this is the ones that were in the camera but yeah I bought some of these at Aldi last night active energy super alkaline I think they're pretty good and unfortunately they don't sell them in like a big pack so but let's go ahead and put Put some batteries in this okay so put some batteries in it probably should have just put the cheap garbage in, garbage batteries in there but does this have a speaker is this broken did I just waste two dollars What the hell? Oh, fuck it. Okay, it's working. So yeah, that works. It's good. How does that turn off then? I guess it'll just shut off. I bet you they gave you this as like a freebie for signing up with their internet service. But yeah, my grandma, she had Embark when she first moved up. When she first, yeah, when she got her first internet provider she got Embark and then it changed to CenturyLink a few years ago they had the weird like the weirdest email address ever it's like it's the Embark E-M-B-A-R-Q mail but it's Embark mail but yeah let's try this clock radio Okay, so it's working. It has a digital tuner. Okay, 
to anybody, you know, and yet the world. No, it exists, but Kentucky tornado victims by firing up his barbecue grill. For these stories and more, listen to the Black Information Network on the iHeartRadio app. Like no other. From your sales experience to the best Mercedes-Benz service department, you'll love Fields Motor Cars. When you need service, a valet will come to your home or office to get you to deliver a loaner. There you go.